The pet food industry has seen significant shifts and growth since the pandemic. Consumers continue to place increasing focus on their own health and wellness, and they have reflected this mindset toward their pets. Pet trendologist Charlotte Reed, host of the nationally syndicated The Pet Buzz radio show, is here discussing trends in pet food and treats. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. All right. So we are getting we are getting better and better with our food choices here for our pets, right? What have you got first? So up? let's start with cats, okay? So you know, one of the things a lot of people don't realize is that it's really a great emotional connection when you treat your dog or your cat. So I, Vitacraft created this lick and lap snack. Now think of it as kind of remember pixie sticks? Yeah. This yes. is a great little snack in here and you could use it as for example in between meals a saucy topper and you can just use it as a training tool it actually comes in two flavors mm -hmm. one is salmon and one is chicken and it's just about bonding it's that great experience your cat will see you as being able to provide it with something good so it's yes. all about the positive experience and these what I like is that they're individually wrapped so you can have a bonding session on the couch while you're watching a movie of the week or the movie of the day so it's really really nice and I like that that is wonderful I love how you're talking about the bonding of it right sure. because it really is a really sweet time for you and your pet to connect now yes. the same is true with dogs too and that's yeah. why I brought some loving breast um, loving pets chicken breast these are tenders and they're cooked ever so subtly with limited ingredients. So it's the same thing. Your pet, you have the opportunity, whether you're doing a training session with your pet or whether you're hanging out on the couch watching a movie, you can give them that one special chicken breast or break it up and do a little, hey, it's time to work for your little meal here. Do some, yeah. do a little training session. So I, I think that's it. really nice. Now we're also talking on the topic of sustainability. So talk to me about what we've got here. Sustainability is really important and 40% of pet owners believe that they want pet food that has sustainable um, sourced um, and traced mm -hmm. ingredients, but they also want sustainable packaging. Mm. And at Northwest Naturals, sustainability is their life. It's their mission. So they do every single thing in house and if their house is powered by solar power oh my so goodness, yeah. nothing is outsourced right. everything is they're known for their like i said their sourcing mm -hmm. and the tracing of their food so i think it's wonderful they make frozen freeze-dried uh and raw diets so wonderful. you and it's light and it's great and it's healthy they actually started the freeze-dried frozen Really? really business wow, I mean okay. it's just it's just amazing food yeah. and I mean they think about everything that goes on including making these packages in-house I love so that that's yeah, and like you mentioned even the packaging is, is sustainable, sustainable. I love okay that. so let's move on all right what have we got okay here? so these are kala wags and actually these are by Tevra pet collagen is the big buzzword and the mm. reason it's good for people and pets it really goes to the heart of your immune system so these are nice bones and actually have a big supply of beef collagen which is a nutritional protein that really is good for your joints your tendon your skin so it's really great for the connective tissue so it keeps pups happy and healthy and really especially have strong bones so really yes. really important now, and it's good for your skin too very true now a big thing right now is toppers toppers I'm yes. glad that you brought that up yes. so these toppers actually that I'm showcasing right now are from primal pet food okay? okay and actually we have two toppers we have hydrators and mm -hmm. we have greens okay Ooh, yes. so this is goat's milk goat's milk is like a universal milk mm -hmm. okay and it's full of um vitamins minerals and electrolytes said, electrolytes <laughs> we're not electrolytes okay yeah. <laughs> and, and and you know it's great for pets because it gives you that absorption and you yes. can add it to their food it's good for dogs and cats and also we have green toppers now this is oh, kale great. and a parsley blend yeah. and there's a little bit of organic mushrooms in there mm -hmm. so um some mct mcts right. so we got some chai seeds in there we got some coconut oil and it's really great for digestion and it's great for skin and coat as well and we love that because we want to give our pets a healthier mm -hmm. maybe a healthier choice maybe the dog food that we're treating or maybe we want to add some moisture to the food yes or maybe we want to have a little oh 
It's what? kale and spinach. Well, before we go, we got to get into we Halloween gotta, treats. We got to get everyone's into. everyone's like, what are we giving the dogs? So these are my <laughs> loving pets, and these are called Yummy Bones. Perfect name for Halloween. And what I really like about them is that mm. they're long-lasting and they're grain-free. They come in peanut butter, and you know everything tastes better with bacon. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> and they're, you know, it's great because if you're take, if you want to pass them out to people who come to the door, that's great. Or if you have your pet at home for Halloween, he'll be home at Halloween and he'll be fine in his crate, chewing on his bone, yes. relieving his anxiety. Well, Charlotte, thank you so much for joining us this morning. These are really, really great tips and options. Thank you for your insight. For more information on all the products Charlotte just mentioned, visit thepetbuzz.com. You can also follow her on social.